The ability to modify discounts and fees has also been enhanced in Leverage 2024R1. What we're going to show you is the settlement payment and say, for example, you have some reason you need to change either the fee or the discount that was calculated, or perhaps you want to create a new discount or fee altogether. Now we can do that. We've been able to do that in the past at the settlement level and just create a fee, just create a discount. But what now what we've done in, in 2024 R1 is that we have the ability to tie that discount or fee down to the ticket level. Let's go ahead and do one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to under modules, we go to commodity accounting. Under commodity accounting, we go to settlement payments. So I've already created a settlement request in the background uh, before this uh, demonstration. So I've got one here uh, that we can take a look at. And let's look at this one right here, this settlement number 24. We can see this is from Mark Nelson. We can see that there's several scale tickets tied to this particular settlement, three in this case. And now we can see the discounts and fees that were created as part of that, that settlement process. So let's say, for example, we wanted to add a freight fee for, or a freight premium. Maybe we were supposed to pick up the, uh, the commodity, but we didn't. And so now we, we're going to pay them maybe $50 a load for bringing it in or some other type of fee or charge that isn't already on here um, for whatever reason. So um, right now, you, today's functionality, you can add a fee or discount at the settlement level by just clicking add and then you put the uh, amount uh, in that you wanted to add or subtract from the settlement. And that would be at the settlement level. There's not, it's not tied to the ticket details. What we've added is, is the ability to tie them at the ticket detail level. So what we're going to do is edit details. And you can see here, every, every ticket's listed. Now you see it here four times because there's one here, a row in here for every discount and fee. So there's one for the moisture discount. There's one for the sour, um, the uh, checkoff program and the weighing fee. Um, there's a row in here for each ticket as I scroll down. There's, there's those rows in there and they all add up to be this total here. So let's say, for example, we wanted to add a, um, a, a, a freight uh, premium because maybe they hauled the uh, crop in for us and we were kind of promised to go get it, but we were busy. So um, what we can do is we can add that uh, just as one row for the entire fee, or but let's do this and add it to multiple tickets. So I'm doing an add multiple and it's going to be a fee, not a discount. And the fee we're going to add is a freight premium. Now I had these fees and charges set up for that commodity. So I'm adding a freight premium and let's add uh, $55 per ticket. And let's say the grower hauled in all three tickets. So now that's going to add $55 to all three of those tickets. Now, if they didn't haul this one, I can uncheck that. And now we're going to only add the $55 to two, two of the three tickets. Um, which would be $110, but we're going to add it to all. Whoops, I'm going to add it to all and create the records. So now you're going to see in here that we have all these fees for the freight and premium for each of the scale tickets that we added. And, the, and you can see here that the fee uh, or the premium for the freight premium has been added $165. If we print the settlement sheet, you can see on the settlement sheet that there is now $165 premium added for the freight. Just take a second to see that. And you can see the freight premium here for $165. So that's the changes that we made, uh, the ability to create discounts and fees. They could be premiums or they could be discounts on a ticket by ticket basis in the purchase settlement uh, screen.